Hey, what's up guys, Mad Zach here, and I just released all of the stems from my last EP, Craftic, um, and I realized that it would be really cool to put together a little tutorial on a few different tips and techniques for working with stems and creating a remix from them. Before we get in there and start messing around with the track, I'm gonna show you just really quick uh, the drop from the original version of the song, which is called Cyber Lab. Um, just so you know what we're working with. Okay, so that's the original and we're gonna be messing it up and tweaking and twerking it. Yeah! So the first thing that I like to do when I get some stems and I'm going to do a remix is to pick apart some of the drum sounds and throw them in a drum rack so that you can do your own MIDI programming uh, to create a beat while still having sort of this original tone from the song. So I'll show you how to do that real quick. I'm going to create a new MIDI track here. And if I drag a drum rack on here, get a MIDI controller going here as well. Move some of my snacks out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. So I just drag the whole drum stem in there. Copy it, move the start point around. Yep, that's the one. Now I'm gonna grab some claps. Get some hi-hats. Change the uh, amplitude envelope there. Uh, and then if I just solo the drum track, I can start making my own beat that actually is comprised of everything from the song. I'll just start a little loop here and let's record something. So that's the first tip. So I took all the drums, put them in a drum rack. The second tip is kind of in the same vein, uh, basically taking something uh, which is not a drum sound and grabbing a sample and turning it into an instrument that you can play. So we're gonna take the synth sound and we're gonna make it into its own instrument. I just click and drag this audio clip onto that MIDI track. Just as easy as that. So punchy. Let's try something with this. So I'm just using my computer keyboard now to play in a little melody. Sweet. I can go in here and edit then the notes that I played in. Okay, so that's the second technique to take an instrument type sound, throw it into a simpler and play it like an instrument. Another technique is chopping up the pure audio. Now we'll just work with the vocal layer here. So we have to first make sure that um, we can pitch it around. So warped, that's good, you want that. And now I'm gonna make it match the new key uh, of this bass line that I played in. Let's try chopping and screwing this vocal a little bit more. Snacks. These things keep me alive. Goji bears from the Turkish market. If I wanted to take that as sort of the start of the idea and duplicate that whole area of time, I can just hit Apple Shift D. Start adding a little bit of um, automation in here. When the bass drops right here, I want the, the bass to happen. I'm 
I'm also going to now add a little bit of transposition modulation in the clip. You do that by hitting the E here and then select trans transposition modulation. And then we can do like a little, it'll sound like almost like a turntable thing, I think. Oh yeah. That, ladies and gentlemen, is my quick and dirty technique for working with stems and doing your own remix. So if you want to check out the stems that I was working with in this video, these are the stems from my new track, Cyberlab, which is off my EP Craftic. And you can also grab the, the stems from any of the other songs here on my blend page. And yeah, happy remixing. <laughs>